right, so Capricorns, how are you doing? I hope all is well with you. Let's uh, get right down into your reading. We are going to take a look at uh, overall energy, um, the challenge, what you don't see coming, your recent past, your present, and the future. Then we're going to do the charms, and I'm going to do a layout for the extended reading and pull one card that shows how your partner views you. And if it's really resonating with you and you want to get the extended reading, I will let you know how to do that, okay? I think this battery is going out. All right, so we are gonna take a look at your overall energy for love with the one that you love. This is love with, so you may be married but love someone else. So this is a reading for the one that you love. All right, Capricorns, if there is such a person. April, Teresa April, what romance cards do you have? All right, we have make the effort, retreat, and religious factors. So somebody may not really be showing the other person that they really want to be with them because they're not making the effort that you need for someone to make in order to prove to you that they are interested in you. So you may have retreated or they may have retreated um, because you know you feel like a man is supposed to for, uh, chase a woman or maybe you feel like a woman is supposed to chase a man. So someone is not really showing the other person their love with the kind of effort that you feel like they would be showing if they were in love. So you may have retreated because you just don't get down like that, religious factors. Or there could have literally been religious factors that has um, caused you know, a separation between the two of you here, all right? And because you guys are so different, you don't, you're not really pursuing it. That could be one way of looking at it, okay? But um, I think somebody is feeling like, well, if you're not making the effort, then you obviously don't love me. And here I am loving you, making the effort, and you're not making the kind of effort that it will take in order to catch me, so I'm going to retreat. I don't have to deal with this. You know, do you realize how many people find me attractive? I don't have to deal with this shit. All right. So what does the cards have to say about the overall energy? The Ten of Swords. Yeah, so some of you, uh, you feel really betrayed by someone who perhaps uh, you cared a lot about, but um, or vice versa. They cared a lot about you, but they just wasn't, couldn't or didn't take the effort to uh, change the way you needed them to. All right. So what do we have here? It says, a great love requires intimacy, trust, and the ability to share your feelings. Express your doubts and fears, your likes and dislikes. Talk openly, listen, be present, always with an open heart and mind, okay? Some of you need to do this, and some of you have already done this. And so the situation as it stands is, you know, you have... Um, maybe decided to distance yourself from someone who was irresponsive to you. And what do we have here? Um, these cards fell over here, but uh, I wasn't trying to uh, really read those. We have some of you, this is happening with the cancer. And if it is, it's like, it's a waste of time with the cancer, okay? Some of you feel this way about a friend, someone who used to be a friend of yours, like they are not really putting in the effort for the connection anymore. And so you feel like, well, forget it, right? Um, but your religious, the way, it's not just religious factors. It could be that you see that a man is supposed to pursue and a woman is supposed to receive or something like that. So those things are causing you guys to uh, you don't feel special to this person and they really don't help out a lot either all right okay so that's for one somebody let's look at the next group of cards which is uh, your challenge okay 
So the challenge for Capricorns, if that resonated, okay, and you guys could still be together. You guys, your person just isn't really making the effort like you would like them to. You know, they have retreated and, you know, maybe you're praying about it or something like that. All right, so, okay. All right, these turned around, but they did not fall. This is what your challenge would be. Your challenge is keeping an open mind. Um, and for instance, I saw uh, this woman actually propose to this man the other day. And if she didn't keep an open mind, it would have been like, ugh, you know, what are you doing? That is just so anti-culture. But, uh, you know, they're married. <laughs> I mean, you know, they're engaged at least. So her husband didn't propose, but you know, she kept an open mind. She proposed to him and she got a husband. So that's going to be your challenge this month. Yeah. Keeping an open mind because you just see things a certain, see, you see things that they need to unfold a certain kind of way, right? Like for instance, I was with a Capricorn who didn't make any effort in the beginning and you know, I reached out to him and was like, Hey, you know, I like you. If you like me, would you be willing to be more expressive with that and demonstrate that through? A pursuit he said sure and he did and never stopped so sometimes you just have to keep an open mind and that's the that's going to be a challenge for you for some reason this is coming in upside down and what it's saying is stop taking life so seriously achievements and possessions will pale into significant into insignificance when your soul journeys back home to the light from which everything stems okay so some of you are just working too hard and they're telling you to chill with that or they're telling you you know just keep an open mind with this person that you're seeing don't take everything so seriously you know and make some time for them too all right so this is what the angel wants to say about this this is what the angel wants to say what does the angel want to say as far as your challenge oh there's going to be an abundance okay wow okay so this has nothing to do with love but well maybe it does i don't know don't let me uh, take your blessings but it says and then yes an increase in abundance is arriving in many different forms okay some of them unexpected just be open to receiving and know that this abundance comes to you to support your life purpose okay now some of you need to keep an open mind about receiving help some of you need to keep an open mind about allowing abundance in or some of you just need to keep an open mind about the differences that maybe you and your partners are facing. Or maybe you need to keep an open mind about um, different scenarios, different people, different situations. All right. So that's going to be your challenge, keeping an open mind for some reason. Maybe your person wants an open relationship or I don't know. All right. So... Okay, so uh, what you don't see coming, this is what you don't see coming in love, Capricorn. What you don't see coming in love, okay, uh-oh, all right. You don't see a past life relationship coming back. Uh, you might be attracted to somebody uh, that you may not have ever been or saw yourself attracted to. And then there's somebody who you need to release in order to move on. Okay, it, it looks like some of you were attracted to someone who may have reminded you of something. It may have been toxic and it's time to release it. It's like you're really attracted to this person. Um, I've seen past life relationships indicate somebody will be attracted to someone who reminded them of a toxic parent and they fall really in love with this person but it's a lot of toxicity because the um, the affections are not reciprocated so you may be attracted to someone that you've had a past life with but it either you need to release somebody that you're still holding on to in order to go forward with them or this is the person that you need to release and I don't think either you didn't see it coming or you didn't know that you would release them as strongly as you are going to 
Now for others of you, uh, I do see a past life relationship um, that's going to take you by surprise. Somebody from the past returns. Um, and there could be somebody else that you're attracted to and then there could be an ex who you need to release <laughs> so all kind of shit could be jumping off right all right so the tarot card for uh, what you don't see coming for Capricorns what you don't see coming Capricorns is what the three of Pentacles reverse looks like you're gonna stop building with someone it's like you don't see that it's going anywhere and uh, you are attracted to them but either they haven't released their ex you know you could be attracted to someone who you feel really comfortable with but they are still holding on to someone and um, but it looks like they're going to be releasing them you know somebody is no longer building with someone else yeah yeah okay uh, or you could unexpectedly really withdraw yourself from someone who you have not been getting the type of responses that you want from okay I feel like you you may like just back up a little bit I don't see you completely out but I see you or I see them backing up if someone is not going to be responsive or if you like someone who is still dealing with you know their ex okay this is what you don't see coming and this is your card here it says a profound transformation is taking place in your life Wow, be yourself. You have much to offer the world by just being you. Your love has the power to transform all things, including your relationship. And I oh know uh, this is what you don't see coming. So it looks like somebody could be coming back from the past, or uh, there this person you could be attracted to, but they're still with someone, or they still haven't let someone go, or this could be you, like you're attracted to someone, but you still have the baby's father, or someone from the past that you're still dealing with and you haven't let them go and you don't it looks like you're not going to want to sabotage this connection so you may or you or the other person may stop building with this other person because they're attracted to you there's so many ways to read this you know okay all right so what is the recent past for capricorns Oh, okay, the recent past. Oh, romantic feelings. Okay, so there's somebody who has romantic feelings for you. Oh, this turned upside down. Uh, I'm afraid to contact you. So they're not afraid to contact you anymore. Looks like somebody is going to be contacting you. Um, and it looks like the, having romantic feelings for someone is coming in the past. So I don't know if you currently have romantic feelings for the person that you're either with or if you have romantic feelings. I don't know. But uh, there was someone who you was who you were feeling and you may have contacted them or they may have contacted you or you may have withdrawn from communicating with them as frequently as you used to. Okay. And uh, how are they feeling about this? How are they feeling about things? The magician. Uh, well, they really want to talk to you. And your withdrawal is kind of turning them on. And they really want to pursue you because they want to continue to communicate and use all of their resources to try and, um, you know, develop something here. So I do feel like there's somebody who you have romantic feelings for that perhaps you could be talking to. Um, you guys could have been, you guys could be talking on a regular. You could have, both of you could have other people. Um, and that's just okay, because that's how it starts many times. Many, 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 many times when you meet someone, they will have somebody that they're dealing with, you know. They may ultimately choose you, but there's somebody around. It says, from a physical perspective, some relationships may seem less than perfect, yet from a higher perspective, all relationships are sacred, for they each help us to grow in love and wisdom, okay? So that's your recent past, right? And let's look at the present. The present. The present for love. 
what is happening in the present for love for Capricorns. Okay. I'm not reading upside down. What is happening in the present for love for Capricorns. All right, I'm going to put it in three and pick the middle and then pick the bottom. The present for Capricorns is forgiving and learning. Okay, so I don't know if you're still uh, with this person that you had romantic feelings for. It's possible. Whatever the case is, in the present, uh, I feel like you're forgiving and you're learning. You're learning about boundaries. You're learning about you know what you need in order to feel happy. Uh, it says as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in the present moments. For instance, I did a reading for a Capricorn woman who said that she felt really at home with the Scorpio, but the Scorpio was um, like dismissive of her feelings and didn't really try and sleep with her, be with her, spend time with her or anything, but she felt at home with him. And it was like, you know, um, you need to heal from some shit from the past so that you don't feel comfortable with someone who is unresponsive to you all right so that could like be one of the yeah the chariot is in reverse some of you are stuck on someone and i think you are trying to move on but it looks like with the chariot reverse you're you're kind of stuck here for a minute and um And in order to go forward in your love life with anybody, I do feel like there needs to be some healing uh, that takes place. Uh, yeah, see, it's time for me to heal now. That's what came out. Um, and the card that says this is a loving thought triggers a loving response. Your love is felt and appreciated and an angel surrounds you. A sacred union is born. The union of twin souls within a threefold flame. So some of you are dealing with multiple people. You could have a husband and a boyfriend or, you know, there could have been uh, more than one person that you were spending your time with. You could possibly be pregnant. Um, now, there could be three people that is in a love triangle here but I feel that some of you many of you are going through a healing process where you are releasing maybe a person who you've been stuck on for a long time uh, and the uh, the angel card is clearing debt yeah, so this might be a psychic debt, a karmic. This looks like a karmic, honestly, that you are trying to move on with. But just also on a financial level, it says uh, your self-care involves removing the heavy burden of financial and emotional debt from your life. You already feel lighter and freer just by facing this topic and making a plan to clear present obligations and avoid future ones as well well wow so uh somebody was a heavy burden in your life they were a heavy burden and you may have to deal with them and that could be why the chariot is reversed because the threefold you guys could have children right but there's something inside of this person that well there's something inside of you it could be compassion that you need to learn how to control I don't know but there's something inside of you that is attracting weak men or weak women and and it could be the part of you that wants to help people uh, you know you are the father of the zodiac so uh, a lot of times it's real easy to talk to a Capricorn but somebody is a burden and I feel like whoever can Came into your life and I don't know it, it looks like they're leaving now they were a heavy burden it's time to heal it's time to forgive and learn and heal uh, whatever thing in your life attracted this to you all right uh, you know it's time to move on from this all right now let's look at your near future all right what is the near future have for Capricorns. Capricorns near future. Capricorns near future. Capricorns near future. 
Capricorn's near future. Capricorn's near future with love. Capricorn's near future with love. Capricorn's near future with love is separation. What else? This could be the one. Healing financial issues and codependency. So I see there's a lot of groups of you here. Okay separation so uh, you guys may you know separate from someone who wasn't really making that much of an effort to um, prove to you how much they liked you and so you could have withdrawn from them because you have self-esteem and this could be someone that you had great emotions for but it didn't make any sense that you would love someone that treated you like this. And so the fact that you did love someone that treated you like this means that it's time to heal from whatever uh, is causing you to love someone who's toxic. And so in the future, I see you are separating yourself from this. Uh, and I think that you guys are still going to talk, right? I feel like you're going to... Um, remove them from your man or your woman and reduce them to <laughs> friend all right it's like i can't deal with you because you're just not giving me enough and i deserve better than this and i don't know why i keep dealing with people like this but no more all right no more so um yeah i feel like because you guys are the fathers of the zodiac a lot of people rely on you and depend upon you and in the near future i see you separating from one person and maybe cozying up with someone else but this other person is addicted to you so you know they are having a very hard a hard time with you implementing boundaries with them they're having a very hard time with it because and like now you know they want to do right I do feel like for some of you separation is going to cause someone to recognize uh, how strongly they feel about you because the hangman when it's right side up this person needs to take a different perspective about things but they're not really doing anything to change anything but when it's a reverse they're willing and ready and you know willing to change so so either some of you are finally getting up the nerves to separate that and you're making the sacrifices that you need to make in order to leave something alone that wasn't going anywhere or as a result of you standing up for yourself and saying I can't deal with this anymore this person is standing up okay um, so yeah but some of you others of you here you've decided that you can no longer be the codependent partner to someone who is not making an effort to demonstrate your level of commitment to the union and so you have solidified uh, this by separating from them being cordial but deciding that uh, this is no longer uh, working for you right and it looks like somebody is having a very hard time with this they're having a really hard time with and they're not happy about this limit that you're setting with them at all and they're completely baffled to how you got this courageous right but they you know that's too many cards so that is uh, what I see in the near future that you're going to be processing separating from someone but oh look a new love is coming your way huh okay it says, yet in order for this to manifest, you must first release the past. Are you ready? All it takes is a conscious desire to do so. Wow. Okay. Well, let's take a look in the extended who this new love is. All right. For those of you that that really resonated with. First. Charms. I see somebody in the military who you do not know that could actually end up being um, someone very significant in your life. All right. This was right side up. It says, you're always with me. So somebody is in love with you 
and uh, they could have a, a military background or they could work for the police, something like that. All right. I do feel like it's time for you to take time out for yourself and go to Starbucks, hang out with some friends who you haven't seen for a long time. That is already in the works or that would be something that would really uh, impact your heart. All right. So we see this new person here. All right. Especially if this reading resonated with you. If that reading really resonated with you, then somebody new is coming. Even if you already have someone or are married. Look at that junk in the back. All right, let's take a look here. Okay, so this is the layout that I told you I was going to do. Capricorn's April. Who is this new person coming to Capricorn's life? Where is this relationship going? Will it result in something permanent? How is Capricorn going to meet this person? What does Capricorn need to know about this person? Okay. All right. Now, for those of you in relationships, where is your relationship going? Okay. How does your person feel about you? Cross watcher, how does Capricorn feel about you? All right. Does your person have someone else? Does Capricorn have someone else? And where is the final outcome of this relationship? All right, here's the teaser. In this teaser, we're gonna take a look at how your person uh, feels about you or how they're viewing you. And the teaser, this is, uh-oh, it's getting ready to die. Capricorn, how is whoever you love at this moment, how are they feeling about things? Okay, what do we have? Ten of Pentacles, what? <laughs> This is so funny. It's, it's always when you back away and you take a stand and you show that you have respect for yourself, all of a sudden, the same person who wanted nothing to do with you and who wasn't acting right, all of a sudden they act right. You know, that is just ridiculous. So uh, we're gonna finish this reading and uh, at Vimeo and we'll ask about the old person too, Capricorn, okay? So if you wanna see the extension to this video, the link is in the description box and at the top of the comment section. It it says click below for the Capricorn extended reading. There will be two um, links. One will take you to, oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, whoever, this is for, this is whoever you love. This is how they feel. Whoever you love, this is how they feel. All right. So uh, we'll do a reading on whoever you love and the new person. Okay. So if you, again, if you want to see the extension to this reading, uh, the link is in the description box and at the top of the comment section it says click below for the Capricorn extended reading there will be two links one will take you to my website and the other will take you to Vimeo where for a nominal fee you can see the rest of the video also if you have my number and you want a reading just text me if you want a reading go to sunshine tarot.net my uh, reading prices are half of what they used to be and also I have a new channel called Pink Lessons. I'll put the description, a link in the description box. And love you Capricorn, thank you for watching and God bless.